We've covered some multi-million dollar properties on this channel. However, luxury isn't just some large price tag, especially when it comes to Thailand, because today we're bringing you something that offers great value for money at a discounted rate of 14 million Thai baht. Hello everyone, my name's Alex and welcome to another episode of The Finest Real Estate Show. Today, we'll be touring a three bedroom, four bathroom, modern contemporary villa set behind 24 seven security, close to top level international schools and world renowned golf courses. This villa is set on 273 square meters of land with a usable area of 341 square meters. Now, let's jump straight in to the exterior. Set behind the electric gate with side pedestrian access, we've got a two car driveway now, by the way, guys, you might hear a lot of noise in the background at the moment. This is a new build. There are 11 villas in total, but this is one of the last two available for purchase. Now, they've done a great job at concealing tons of storage space behind these sleek cupboard doors. Perfect for your shoes, tools, or even geckos. <laughs> okay, coming through to my right, we're greeted by your very own private swimming pool with a jacuzzi seating area there in the corner. A special mention to one of our viewers who left us a request in our last video to mention pool depths. This one is 1.4 meters deep. If you have any special requests or comments or questions, be sure to leave it down below. Come, let's head straight inside. Welcome into this beautiful villa, guys. Right behind me, you'll see the European style kitchen, which we'll get to, but first, Walk with me into the living room and dining area. Now, just to mention, not all the furnishings and finishings have been added yet to this new build, but everything that you'll see in this video and more will be included in the final price, such as this cozy L-shaped sofa. In this open plan living space, we've also got a partition wall where they'll be adding a 55 inch TV. Now, what if I told you guys that the floor to ceiling ratio in this room is nine meters high, so take a look up there. We've got the intricate tray ceilings with integrated mood lighting and also complemented by the twin chandeliers. The windows that you see on screen right now are actually looking down from the second floor from the bedroom and also the space up there. Walking through, we've got a six seater dining table with the glass top. And guys, can you just imagine having dinner right here with your friends and family basking in all that natural light that comes through. What's more, you can actually slide open these glass doors all around to create an indoor, outdoor living space. So plenty of natural light, tons of fresh air coming through. It's just beautiful. What more can you ask? I'm also a big fan of these nine meter curtains definitely the longest that we've seen on the channel so far. There's also a mounting point for security cameras up here. So that's a really nice added bonus. Coming through to the breakfast bar and kitchen area, there's space for four to five bar stools here, which they'll be adding. And we've also got this beautiful underglow with the LED and tons of glass as well. There's plenty of countertop space with all this granite, including the central island in the kitchen, and also above and below, ample storage space. You'll definitely not run out of room to put all your things. We've got the twin Haffel sink here, and also all the appliances are from Haffel in this villa. So we've got the electric hob and extractor fan. In this nook down here, you can add a wine cooler or a dishwasher, whatever your preference is before you move in. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this fridge is larger than average. We've got the freezer up top with the ice maker. And of course, the fridge down below. So what do you think? Fun fact for you guys, me and Alex actually looked at this place when we first came to Thailand, but we thought this place had too much space for us at the time, and we opted for this condo instead. So you can go check out that video if you're interested. That's right. And by the way, 
That condo and this villa are pretty similar in price. So it's roughly 360 or $380,000. So if you're into villas, go check that one out. Condos. Condos or villas, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but coming through, if one kitchen is not enough, we've got another one here with a gas stove, again, Hafel, and the extractor fan from Hafel. This space is perfect if you've got a private chef or a Thai partner that likes to do a lot of fragrant Thai cooking. And it's great that they've added this door here so we can offload all that beautiful aroma onto our lovely neighbors here. <laughs> I'm sure they'll appreciate that very much. So, coming through. We've got a separate area here which is really designed for your washing machine to go here. So all that noise will not be distracting you and it separates it from the rest of the property. Some of our viewers will be happy to know that we've got the washing machine here and not in the kitchen. Because on our last few videos, people were saying that it's pretty unhygienic to have the washing machine in the kitchen. But hey, if you ask me, coming from the UK, that's pretty normal. But anyway, that's an added bonus. Down here, we've got a WC with the shower head, rain head and handheld as well in here, which is perfect if you're coming in from the swimming pool. So you're not trudging all that water upstairs into the other bathrooms, into the other rooms. We've got a large mirror with the backlighting as well and all the essentials with the toilet, the butt gun <laughs> and the sink. Now, this one is perfect for Harry Potter because there is tons of storage space Great utilization right here. <laughs> so you can put away all your things and no one will even know. So I'll pass you over to Mira as she'll show you upstairs on the second floor. Hello guys, in case you're new here, my name's Mira and I'm going to be showing you the upstairs part of this villa today. So I'm currently sat on this sofa and it's not quite a informal living room, but more of just a cozy hangout spot. Perhaps you could read a book here or play some board games with your family. Now, back to the window that Alex was talking about in the beginning of this video. We look down to the open plan living area and dining table. Now this is a really clever design by the architects because it just allows in so much natural light. Now, if you want to follow me through, we're going to go to the first bedroom. Now, as you enter this room, you'll notice the very cozy color palette in here. And again, with the window, this one looks down directly onto the dining table. Do you guys remember being a teenager and never wanting to leave your bedroom? Well, now you can add them into all your family plans <laughs> straight from their room. <laughs> Yep, but in all seriousness, we do have curtains here so we can create a lovely private space. Now on this wall, we will have a 55 inch TV installed before you move in. And these are beautiful wallpaper stone effect walls. Now round here in this light color wood, we've got the floating bedside tables. We do also have a bedside table on that side and the floating vanity with a large mirror. In the same colour wood, we've got this glass walking, not walking, just a wardrobe. <laughs> now, just to cut you off there, I also like the fact that they've added the slim windows here on each side to bring in that natural light and plenty yeah. of fresh air so you can open them up. Perfect. Ooh. It is actually quite a good breeze as well. And also, you may have noticed the recessed ceiling with the integrated mood lighting and gold bezels as well. Is it bezel or bevel? Bevel. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so this is the first ensuite. We've got the same granite style from the kitchen. And we've got the walk-in shower here with the rainfall and handheld. A good space, as you can see. And we do have a window here for ventilation. The large underlit mirror as well, always good. And if we back up, we're gonna go to the second bedroom. Okay, so in this room, as soon as we walk in, we've got a lot of shelf space above and below we have cupboard space. I believe this is made for shoes. That's a nice integrated cupboard space. 
Now this room has a slightly different theme to the one before, more dark, maybe more masculine. Now here we've got a large window which looks out to this rural view. Although we do say it's a rural view, we are only 25 minutes from Pattaya city centre and a yeah. three minute drive to the motorway that takes us straight into Bangkok. Yeah. And this room doesn't have a fabric headboard, but it has the marble star wall with the gold detailing, which looks really nice. And then here is where your 55 inch TV will go. Again, the floating vanity with a large mirror here. And Alex, if you spin around, we have got the cupboard here. And this is actually cupboard space as well. Very seamless. Through here, we've got our second ensuite again with the granite style and the walk-in shower. And here we do have some shelf space, which is nice. You can put some decoration or products there. I even want to just show the recessed ceiling up there as well. Oh yeah. Nice touch. Very nice. They do like a recess ceiling in here. <laughs> <laughs> right, and before we head to the master bedroom, I want to show you through this door where we have a very large balcony. So this balcony overlooks to all the other villas. You can wave to your neighbours from here. And down here, we've also got a good view of the pool. Not sure you can jump from here though. I don't think the pool's deep enough for that. And for the final time, we've got the window where we can look down into the living area. It will be really nice to add some seating area outside. You can enjoy the sun setting as it is at the moment as well. Yeah, you can enjoy a morning coffee from up here or an evening coffee. <laughs> and finally, we have the master bedroom. <laughs> Saving the best till last. <laughs> so this room has a balcony looking out again to the other villas in this project. And here we have these stone star style walls and they are just stone effect. They're not real stone. Just wanted to mention that because we want to be transparent about it. Yeah, I'm not sure how big of a deal this is to you guys, but this definitely saves the cost when it comes to buying this property. If it was yeah. real stone wall, the cost would be much higher. Yeah, so, it would be a lot more. You know, what's your opinion on that? Would you prefer solid stone or would you prefer a better price point and its stone effect? Yeah. Right, let's take a look inside the room. So we have another cozy color palette in this room and this is where the TV is going to go. We've got some floating storage here. Now I really like this fabric headboard. It goes all the way to the ceiling and we have the recessed ceilings up there again. We've also got wallpaper in this room, which I think is a silk cotton blend. Very nice. And now through this pocket sliding door, we have the walk-in wardrobe. Oh damn. I was not expecting Unexpected, this. right? This is a really, <laughs> really big space. And we actually have a separate AC up here, so you don't overheat whilst you're getting ready. This is Thailand. We've got all this space here, lots of drawers for all your stuff. And then of course, this very large mirror, perfect for getting ready. And then through here, we have the final ensuite with this gray marble style. This is definitely my favorite bathroom. And if you come through here, you'll see the jacuzzi bathtub. Very nice. And if you look down, Alex, we've got the stones, which is giving a spa feel. And that is real stone. It kind of looks like wallpaper effect on camera. <laughs> and then a very large walk-in shower here. So, what do you think? Oh, and another thing to mention is we do have all this cupboard storage down here which often bathrooms do lack so it's a nice touch and again with these recessed mood lighting ceilings very large mirror with the backlighting 
beautiful space. What's your favourite bedroom so far? Is it the master bedroom, first or second? So that's it for the upstairs. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. And also tell me, what does $380,000 get you in your home country? Something better? Something worse? Let us know. Now we're going to head downstairs and close up this video. So guys, that concludes our tour here today. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Let's do a quick recap. Three bedrooms, four bathrooms, 273 square meters of land space and only 25 minutes from Pattaya city center. What do you think about the price? It comes in at 14 million Thai baht and it's discounted with us at the finest real estate. So if you're interested, find all our contact details down below in the description. And by the way, I just want to say a thank you to Ban May Villa for inviting us here today to film the tour. And also a special thank you to our friend Nut for letting us borrow his drone after ours broke. So if you have a child or perhaps you who likes magic toys, check out Hanky Panky Magic Toy Factory. And if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share to your friends and family. And if you'd like to, you can check out our previous tours. We'll link them up above. And yeah, that's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed. Catch you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>